Okay guys, so here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have the results of a Remington 770 chambered in 243 with the original recoil pad the 243 ran to 683 pounds peak force. And with the Remington 770 with the Falcon Strike, we were able to reduce the recoil peak force to 293 pounds. So we've got it knocked neatly in two with the Falcon Strike. So if you have a junior model to reduce the apprehension or the trainability of a, of a junior person or in, in interest them to see the fun, you can remove the pain by 50%. You can remove the recoil by 50% to get the trainability into a young person that's starting to shoot. Or small stature operators uh, equally um, uh, are offered the same result. The interesting thing is we took a, a Remington 700 chambered in a 300 wind mag and we tried four different combinations. We tried with the original pad without the muzzle brake, with the original pad and the muzzle brake, with the Falcon Strike without the muzzle brake and then both the Falcon Strike and the muzzle brake and I'd like to show you those results. So here we go. Here we have a new, um, yeah, so here we have a Remington 700 chambered in 300 wind mag. We have the original rifle without a muzzle brake. This is the Falcon Strike so we have a substantial peak force, uh, peak force reduction with the muzzle brake and the original pad and if we add the pad the Falcon Strike recoil pad and the muzzle brake, we bring it very neatly down to 293 pounds peak force, which is exactly the same recoil signature as a 243 rifle in a junior model. That's a spectacular result. Ladies and gentlemen, I challenge you to increase the performance of your shooting sport by reducing the pain and the apprehension to the point where a 700 um, uh, rifle chambered in 300 wind mag, shoots like a 243. Go and get a Falcon Strike, I challenge you to try it. You will not be uh, disappointed. Thank you.